Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation, be careful what you wish for. Any obstacles in your way and the outcome of that situation. Yeah, you broke the cycle. Whatever's coming towards you, you broke it once. You broke the chains once. So let's see how it's going. Alright, I don't remember what I was saying. The situation and the obstacles in your way and the outcome. Trust your intuition. So, um, remember the energies can always be reversed. Also, remember it's a general reading. So, just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Also, uh, the reading I did yesterday, I offered a $10 reading. Um, you can find information on my Facebook page if you're interested in that. Wow. Alright, you got a wish there. But, it's like, energy around it, it's like one door has to close. Or had to close something like some type of cycle change brings a wish. But whatever this is, could be dealing with an Aquarius. There could be an age difference here. For some, this doesn't have anything to do with a person. But um, it could have to do with like money as well. But for some, it's, it's love here. Somebody's hoping to like work, but they may have to fight for it. Like, um, like actually, there may be competition around the situation. Not literally fight, but. Don't have to work for it. Show me that pa uh, page of cups, please, for Pisces. What's coming up? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. So, for some, I mean, it, there could have been financial situations, like money. And so, you know, somebody's trying to get things to create some type of flow. However, there's a, a relationship. Somebody wasn't giving back what, like, they were putting into it. So, like, you were putting in the effort. And you weren't getting that back. So one part of the equation, like somebody is feeling some type of loss there. Whether it's monetary or within relationships. Show me the Six of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. Oh. Okay. The Eight of Cups. The Three of Pentacles. Something wasn't working like in your favor. Um, Like it wasn't. It wasn't going right. Things weren't equal. They weren't balanced. So with the Queen of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, you may have like cold shouldered something altogether. Um, like kind of, it's not coming up as a fed up energy. It's coming up as like a um, hell no type energy. Like I got me. Um, for some, like if there was money situations or like something around work. Where there's like, there's other people around, you work with other people, some type of collaboration. But, I mean, for the most part, something wasn't, it wasn't flowing right. Somebody wasn't like doing their equal share or something like that. So you walked away from the situation. You're kind of just, I mean, this is definitely a, <clears throat> like, you know, very independent energy. But this almost like kind of just went silent like nope we're not having this the queen of swords does not hesitate to cut out what's no longer serving her and that's what this world is it looks like you're kind of disconnecting from a situation but with the world there that's capricorn energies it's like putting boundaries in place putting limits that's associated with um shit, saturn the ace of wands and the chariot that's what I was talking about. Like, one door closes, here's your other one open. And it's the Ace of Wands, though, right? So, the Ace of Wands is still something that's at the beginning level. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, like, it could be, like, a thought, an idea, but it, it this could also be a person. With the Seven of, uh, I'm sorry, the Chariot. I said Seven of because it's the number seven card. Um... Damn, in the justice card, you're getting on the right track. Like something is balancing out Libra energy for some. I'm just going to tell you there could be car trouble. So if your car's been messing up, um, 
don't sleep on it. But also, this feels like around a relationship as well. Somebody could have been like sneaky or like having other things going on. Maybe just wasn't that honest. Could have definitely ghosted the situation or for some, like there could have been theft. But now this is all the way turning around because it's, it's you're on like the fast track freaking marriage here to like it could be signing a contract or something like that and it kind of like changes the whole vibe i don't think you're seeing a whole lot of like at least right now like how much something's about to change with the chariot and the justice that's 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 getting things back on track. That's getting things balanced. And like I said, with the justice card, there are some type of boundaries that were put on the situation. And now things are about to balance out. You have the justice and the four of wands. So for some, this could be like, I mean, if it's not like a person in your world or something like that, like it could even be like your dream home. This could be marriage. Things are just, um, moving forward. As a person, though, this person could be, like, trying to get off looking good before they approach you. Show me this outcome. If this is, like, a house or something like that, there could be competition around it. Just because with the five of wands and the star, your wish is here, something that you wanted. Um, tell me about the outcome for Pisces. I mean, it makes sense. The four of wands is here. The five of wands. As a person, this, uh, the two of cups, yeah. All right. So, um, there. I mean, you can walk away all you want, but this energy, it's like they need you. They're very attached to you. Tell me more about the outcome. Thank you. The two of swords. I think it's going to come. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take, yeah. The Queen of Wands, Aquarius, Libra, I'm sorry, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. It's going to take a lot to like, for, not a lot, but, um, well, I mean, yeah, to get like back in your grace, like you're just not going to take bullshit. And you may have more than one person here that's trying to like come towards you, get at you. But I think with this Two of Swords right now and the energy that's over here, I don't think you're even expecting this. Give me one more for the outcome. Yeah. This King of Wands. So for some, you could have been dealing with a married man. The King of Wands is Eric Leo Sag energy, but it could also, um, it's somebody who's matching your energy there. Very confident. Uh, the Ace of Wands, the King of Wands. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Because if things weren't like balanced in the past, which they may not have been over here, this type of energy, and you're not dealing with the fire sign, then that um, Temperance card, double Sagittarius. They could have a Sagittarius there. But that's kind of still somebody who may need to, you know, have some wild oats to sow. Could just be, yeah, the moon. Tell me about that moon. That's your energy. Could be dealing with a cancer. What's, but the moon can represent things that are hidden. So let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's definitely got you on the brain. But it does look like they're trying to invest time and energy over here. Like plant those seeds. Um, whereas over here, that was lacking. The Ace of Cups. Yeah. Trying to start something new. And it could be somebody brand new with the Ace of Cups. But um, the Six of Cups. For some, it's somebody returning who hasn't let go of you. Alright, Pisces, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.